Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I've got Alora for Christmas. This is in no way me bragging. Some people might have got less, some people might have got more for their kids. Um, but I just love watching these videos and it gives me so many ideas on what I can get her. So I thought I'd show you guys. So yeah, let's get into the video. I'm going to start with the random things first because I'm going to pack it all back into this box. So the first thing we have is this Fisher-Price Little People set. Um, this is the Cuddle and Play nursery set. So it comes with two little figures um, and then it comes with like a changing table, obviously a little bassinet. Over here is like a walker, a milk bottle, everything like that. Um, she's been obsessed with babies lately, so I thought she would absolutely love that. Staying on the subject of little people, I got her just this little seesaw set, and it comes with two figures. Um, I got this and a lot of the other little toys from, I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce the name of it. It's like my maquito toys something like that but it's incredibly cheap on there everything is always on sale and reduced um so i did pick up quite a few bits i think i picked up like 10 toys for like 40 pound or something and they were like all of these really good toys next i got her these little nesting dolls so she did already have some wooden nesting dolls but Laura and I both trod on one each so they snapped um so I just threw them in the bin and we've got her these ones instead um once again I have no idea how you pronounce this company name but that is where we got it from and that's where we got we spent quite a lot of money there I think we spent about 250 pounds there um because all their toys are so cute and they're all like the wooden toys and I just love wooden toys it's literally I feel like I've got most of these things for myself and not for Laura. <laughs> but anyways nesting dolls we got her some mega blocks this was also from very um I just feel like she'd love this and it's from one year plus they're quite big blocks so no choking risk or anything um and I just think she'll have a lot of fun building little towers and that with them so I got her them it's also really handy that it comes in this bag so you can just keep it in there for storage I got her this giant bluey this was from Asda when they had the wooden toy event so this was one of the special buys and I think this was 12 pounds which is actually quite pricey you come to think of it now um <laughs> but at the time there was no price label on it and I just bought it because I thought she's gonna love that I did get her the mini bingo and bluey as well and I think they were about five pounds each so that's quite a lot better I got her this little Bing playset. She doesn't actually really watch Bing anymore, but she knows the names of them. Um, and she'll like playing with the figures, even though she doesn't watch the program anymore, really. I just got her this little book. She is really, really, really into her books at the moment. So this is just one with little animals in it. Um, and then you unfold it to see what animal it is. That was also from Aldi on their toy event. And that was £1.99, which is actually very good for a book. Now, this next present is probably more for me than it is for Alora. If you know me, you know I literally love Friends. I've watched it religiously since I was probably about eight years old. Um, so I got her this Fisher-Price Little People set and it's got all the characters in it. I feel like this is going to be something that when she's a lot older, she's actually going to love because it's going to be something that reminds her of me. Well, I say that so big-headedly. She's going to love it because it reminds her of me. But... Anything that reminds me of my mum, I just love now. And I feel like these could actually be kept as a treasure. These are all bits for her doll. This is the doll that we've got her. Please ignore her because Alora literally chucks her around the lounge by her hair. She's literally grabbing her like this. This is one of the Australian Miniland dolls. And I think this is the 38 centimeter one. We just got her off Amazon. We got that a while ago. I bought some things to go with her doll because she's shown a lot more interest in it lately. And it's like tucking her up to bed and like washing her. So we got her some bits for her doll. So we got her push chair. This is once again from that lovely company that I can't pronounce the name of but we got her this baby carrier how cute is that you know the ones that you put on your chest and then you put baby in there um so she's got one for her doll now 
And then in the same print, we've got this nappy bag and it comes with a nappy in it as well. So she can put a nappy on her baby. And then we've got this little outfit for her baby. That is what it looks like on. And Delora has a really similar outfit. So I bought that so they could be matching. Um, because obviously, Sis is still in a summer outfit, so we need to get her something for the winter when Alora takes her out in her pram. And then the last thing that we got for her baby was this little drink set, so little milk and juice, and it's the ones that where you tip it, um, it's like magic, it goes away. We got her, this is so heavy, we got her a doll's house. So this is the one that we got her. This was from Lidl. I did buy the Audi Dolls House as well when it came out. Um, but then when I saw this one in Lidl, it was even cheaper. And I just preferred it because it had color on it. Um, whereas the Audi one is like gray. Um, so we have gifted the Audi one to her little cousin for Christmas. And then Alora is gonna keep this one. To go with her Dolls House, we've got some furniture. This was the one from Audi. Um, so it just comes with a bedroom, an office, bathroom, lounge and kitchen set. And then from Lidl, I just got her the nursery set as well because I think that house is going to be big enough to have um, a little nursery bit up the top as well. So I thought she could have that. I did also get her a wooden like outside furniture sort of set. Um, but that's fallen down the back of the washing machine. So when I can be asked to get it, I'll show you guys that as well. The last sort of bits that we got her were all stuff for her kitchen. So we have got Alora as her main present, a wooden kitchen and a wooden fridge, um, which obviously are flat packed in a box. So I can't show you what they look like, but I will put pictures here and how much they cost us. Um, so everything else that we've got is sort of to fit that theme. So from Melissa and Doug, this was from Very. Um, we got her this ice cream set. We went to Little Street Roleplay and they had this exact ice cream set and she had it in her hands the whole time going round. She literally would not let me take it off her. Um, so I just bought her the same set because I know that she's gonna love it. Um, it's got to the point now where she's really, really using her imagination and she'll pick up like a cup and put a ball on top of it and she'll just walk around saying ice cream. So it's about time I actually got her some ice cream. Also from Lidl, I got her this wooden food basket um, so she can put her food in it like she can go up to her little fridge put what food she wants in it and just carry it over to her kitchen i feel like all this stuff is everything that i would have loved as a little girl like this this is literally my dream the wooden stuff and i will probably be playing with it more than her so then on to the wooden food um these two bits were from la toy van which are really good for wooden toys so we've got her this like cheese and sort of dairy set. It's got milk in there, all different types of cheeses and butter as well. Also from the toy van, we've got her the bakery set. So that's just got all like sort of breads, croissants, pastries and everything like that in it. This is the butcher set. So it's got like bacon, chicken, steak, um, sausages and everything like that in there. We got her obviously the veg set. So in here you've got like carrot, cucumber, tomato, lemon, everything like that. We did order the fruit set, but um, as when, they, when they went to dispatch it, um, it was out of stock, so they had to refund me. So I do need to get the fruit set because she absolutely loves fruit, so I need to get that. And they do like loads of singular wooden food toys. Um, so for anything that wasn't included in these packs that she would recognise, I bought them as well. So for example, we've got two apple juices and they come in pairs, which is really handy. And they're also so cheap, I think they were like two or three pounds per set. So it was really affordable. And then I got her two little milk ones as well because they've got a cow on it so she can really tell that's milk. I got her some grapes. They also came in a pack of two. She loves grapes. And then her favourite fruit in the world, some of you may know it, is watermelon. So once again, I just got her the watermelon slices. Got her two little yogurts. My camera is really having a hard time focusing right now and it's pissing me off. The very last thing in my haul that I've got to show you guys is a potato. I got her two potatoes. 
so that just about wraps up this video that is everything that we have got our one and a half year old for christmas this year um the only two things that we are left to get her is dolls house people because i bought all the furniture and realized we haven't got any people um and the wooden fruit still um her stocking isn't finished yet her christmas eve box isn't finished yet but when it is i will update you guys and i'll show you everything that we've put in that as well um just because i know these videos can be helpful if you're stuck for ideas especially christmas eve boxes because last year obviously Alora was only like 10 months last year i had no idea what to put in her christmas eve box um so i really hope this year these videos actually help some people that were like me and had no idea either. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I will catch you in the next one.